In nature, there are these things called animals. These animals have nerves in their body that allows communication between all of its bits and pieces. The connections between these nerves are called synapses, with the presynaptic cell communicating with the postsynaptic cell. There are roughly 1,000 trillion synapses in the human body. These synapses are either chemical or electrical. The chemical synapse uses neurotransmitters to communicate with the postsynaptic neuron and is the most common type of synapse in the body. The electrical synapse, on the other hand, has the presynaptic cell directly connected to the postsynaptic cell with gap junctions, which contains channels that connects the cytoplasm of the cells. At the chemical synapse, Neurotransmitters are made and stored in small pods called synaptic vesicles. These vesicles will then dock on the surface of the presynaptic neuron until they are needed. When an action potential occurs at the presynaptic neuron, ion channels open that allow calcium to enter the cell. This calcium binds to synaptotagmin, which causes snare complexes to form, which in turn causes membrane fusion and the release of the neurotransmitter, known as exocytosis. The neurotransmitter then travels across the synaptic cleft and binds to receptors. The receptors are either ionotropic, which has the ion channel as part of the receptor, or metabotropic, which is indirectly connected to the ion channel and causes a signaling cascade that opens the ion channel. The ion channels then allow the flow of ions such as sodium that triggers an action potential in the postsynaptic cell, or chlorine that hyperpolarizes and inhibits the cell. The reliance on diffusion across the synaptic cleft makes chemical synapses considerably slower than electrical synapses. However, chemical synapses are easier to control and are more precise than electrical synapses, which is why far more neurons are chemical instead of electrical. The neurotransmitter is then degraded or reuptaken by the presynaptic cell and the vesicles are recycled to be used again. The electrical synapse has gap junction channels that connects the cytoplasm of the cells directly. When the presynaptic cell has an action potential, these channels allow the action potential to flow directly to the postsynaptic cell. The direct cell connection allows for quicker communication between cells and allows cells to work together in synchrony. The direct connection also allows for information to flow both ways. All of these properties makes the electrical synapse necessary for things like the heart, which requires reliable synchronous cell contraction.